Hey guys, this is Trinette Jones Furniture Repair. Thanks for joining me. We're doing a super awesome, exciting piece today. It's uh, kind of an art deco sideboard. It's got a lot of repairs needed, the drawers. I'll show you some details and let's get to it. Hey everyone, I just wanted to stop before we get going on this piece and give you a little bit of a backstory. Maybe some of you know this already. This uh, piece belonged to one of my really awesome, beautiful customers who sadly passed away last year. Um, and we were in the middle of uh, kind of scheduling it in and getting it going. And uh, she, she passed away and she was a wonderful mom, a beautiful person. And her daughter came in, oh, pretty, six months or so ago. And she said, you know what, my mom really loved this piece and her furniture, which she did. And I would really like if we could continue with the process to get this done. So this is a really special piece that we're gonna be doing in memory of Wendy. And uh, for her daughter, Tiffany, we're gonna make it the way that her mom always wanted it to be. And we're just gonna uh, be feeling her smiles from up above as we work on this beautiful piece of furniture that she loved so much. So thanks for joining us on this really special project. My heart and soul goes into these pieces, but this is a special one. So let's make it beautiful. All right, so just look at this design. I'm in love with this piece. I think it's amazing. And uh, it's walnut. It's got burled veneer on the front, the drawers. We've got veneer chips. Uh, this whole entire drawer is falling apart and uh, we've got beautiful rounded glass which is intact and I'm going to be holding my breath while I take these panels out but everything looks really great in terms of uh, fit and structure. It's just a couple of veneer issues and the finish is obviously uh, needing to be redone so veneer chips here, here. Um, couple on the bottoms of the drawers someone's touched up at some point a big one missing right there little one right there but that's not bad we've seen way worse in the shop so let's get started on this guy um, and uh, see what we can make it look like I tried and I tried and I tried and I'm not going to try anymore to get this glass out. Um, there's a groove that it slides into and then one side is supposed to pop up and then it slides out. But over the years the frame has shifted and these pieces probably shrunk a little bit and it's just not wanting to go and I am not interested in forcing glass to do anything that it doesn't want to do. especially curved glass because it's so expensive to replace and really time consuming. So it looks like we're going to be masking off these uh, glass panels and working with them in, which is not what I want to do, but uh, it's better than breaking glass for sure, which is what I would have to do to get it out of here. And uh, it is what it is. So I'm just going to be taping off. Um, we really don't need to refinish the inside of the doors. They're in really great condition and we're going back to the original with this whole set. So I'm just gonna put the slots back on and then we'll just be carefully finish uh, stripping this frame with the glass in and I'll just be taping off and making sure we keep it nice and clean. So. Okay, so I've got these guys bubble wrapped on both sides and taped off so they're all ready for prep. Um, and I'm just going to start with um, the doors here. Easiest thing to start with. <laughs> I've got some glue warming up um, for the cabinets, some hide glue, because uh, I'll show you over here, we've got it upside down. 
And after I cleaned out all the spider eggs, um, realized that there was quite a bit of water damage down here. So we're gonna end up gluing most of this veneer back down. I'm not too concerned about missing pieces on the bottom, but I just wanna make sure it's all glued down because this is part of the structure of the base is the different levels of plywood. So got the glue heating up, we'll leave that for now. And I thought I would get some stripping done stripping repairs slash whatever we can look at on these doors. So these are the doors and the handles here are kind of loose. So I'm going to take them off for stripping and sanding because they have to come off anyways. And that'll just make it easier. They just have a couple of nails and the glue is just let go. I think this thing has a bit of water damage. So yeah, just not a lot of glue on there and it let go. The doors are in pretty great shape otherwise. Um, there is a little veneer tip here, but other than that, it looks really good. So looking at the drawers, this drawer is not in bad shape. Um, I don't think I need to re-glue it. Joints are good. The bottom is a little bit messy. And I think what I'm gonna do is take it out, take it up really nicely. Oh, okay. That's excessive. I guess someone at some point stuck a giant nail in here and it's split the back, so we'll have to glue that back down. Yeah, so this can come out pretty easily now for cleanup. We can uh, sand that all off. Get a little chunks off of there. Let's put that aside. Yeah, the joints are still really good, but this situation here needs some attention. And just get that all in there. Under the block. Okay, so the other drawer is a different story. It's pretty beat up. We're going to need to put a new bottom on because this one is very broken and warped. has broken away when the drawer broke, but we do have pieces right here. So we'll glue those back on. So I'll just grab a couple clamps and put that side glued up. Okay, so I've got a piece cut out here, and the other one had fabric on it, nice felt. So I'm gonna do the same, except for I don't have green. I'm gonna use a really nice blue velvet that I have. I'm just gonna use carpenter's glue and give it a couple of good passes and spread it around. And I like to spread it with a putty you knife. Know, it's a lot easier than uh, trying to use a brush and you can get right up into that edge.
All right, so I've got all the veneer laid down and I did do a couple of fills where there was some missing pieces. Not because I'm worried about how it looks, but I want this to be one uniform surface so that if any water penetration uh, happens again, it's not gonna get under the veneer. And on top of the repair, I'm gonna give it a good couple coats of shellac and uh, just seal everything from the bottom and then we can finally turn this back on its feet and deal with all of the other repairs. Okay, so I've got the finish off of the top here. It's got quite a bit of damage. Um, this side's not extremely bad. I thought it would be worse. But the middle section here, it's got a lot of cross grain cuts. You can see those. I think it looks kind of like a cat was crawling up on here. So. Lots of little areas. I'm going to steam this first to try to get some of the cross grain stuff to pop up because we are dealing with veneer. So I'll have to sand quite a bit. And usually that doesn't work too good with veneer, but it is a thicker veneer. So uh, we'll pop as much of the damage as we can up with the steaming. And see what's left and then we'll probably just have to do a little a uh, few little putty areas like this is really cut right into here uh, I don't think a lot of these deep ones right here will pop up too much
All right, so we made out pretty good. Just a couple of areas. Um, right here's a little bit of a fill I'll have to do on this one. That's it. This guy, there's a couple of cuts right Come on, camera. Right there. Um, there's this one, of course, which I kind of knew was going to happen. One right there, and one right there. And I think just another little one right over there, which is pretty good for the top. The front edge did pretty well coming up. Can't see those cross grain scratches as much anymore. And then on this one, there's one right here that we'll have to fill. And a little one right there. And that is it for that guy. So, turned out pretty good so far. So I'll just get those puttied and then I am gonna strip, lastly, the uh, bottom shelves because they got some water damage from whatever was running down this whole piece. So those are pretty cracked up to finish here. You can see we need to get rid of that. So that'll be the last thing I strip on this and then we are ready for stain. Okay, so we've got everything repaired. I finished up with 180 hand sanding everywhere. So we're ready to stain. And I'm gonna be using uh, Gallia's Golden Oak Stain here for the color, because we're gonna just be matching it back to the original. And uh, everything's looking pretty good. I'm a little worried about the top. You can still see some of the uh, shadows of the old scratches, but I think it should be okay. So I'm just gonna work my way from the top to the bottom, and the doors are on the bench, so uh, we'll see how it looks. All right, so we've got the first coat of lacquer on and we can really see what colors we are dealing with or color variations. And it doesn't look as bad as I thought it might look. And uh, I did actually take this second drawer down here back to the workbench, strip it, sand it down and just clear coat it totally natural because it was a little too deep in tone and uh, I just didn't have any room to work with the colors. So that's a redo. And we've got a bunch of our veneer touch-ups there that have no stain on them, so they're really sticking out. But other than that, uh, everything is looking really good. 
it definitely needs some toning work, but uh, it's all in the zone of fixable, so that's good. So what I'm gonna do now is install the doors and um, get everything where it's gonna be so that I can start masking off the handles and dealing with tinting zones and getting colors proper. I'm okay with variation in wood, but I'm not okay with um, everything looking like a complete mess and not cohesive. So there's a fine line there and it takes a lot of years of experience to figure that out. But right now it looks like a mess. So let's get these doors on and start working with some colors. Okay, so I've got everything installed and I had to do a little bit of adjusting on these round doors. Uh, the water damage had swollen a bit of the bottom area and we just had to take some wood off of those to get them to close nicely. I'm not hating this two-tone look with the handles being a little bit lighter uh, than the general areas, so I'm kind of going to keep that going. Uh, we've got the pieces, like these types of pieces that are darker everywhere, and the burled walnut's a little bit darker, so I kind of like that look, so we'll keep it, but we're going to need to tone it down so we can bring them in a little bit closer. So my arsenal is going to be extra dark walnut, raw umber, and straight up green shadow toner for some of the really red areas. And then for our little touch-ups that we need, we're going to be using a dark walnut, uh, extra dark walnut um, touch-up pen for all of those little touch-ups on the veneer and wherever else needs it. Okay, so color work is finished and we put another coat of lacquer on everything to seal it in. Looks pretty great. Everything is looking cohesive and nothing's really sticking out that much, but there's still a lot of nice variation in the wood tone. So good stuff. I'm going to let this second coat dry now and then we'll sand it down again with 320 and uh, hit it with the last finished coats.
so it's all put back together and finished and looking extremely sophisticated. What a lovely piece. I just love the lines of this piece. Like I said before, it's something that I really, really like. So you remember all the veneer repairs we had on the drawers? You can see them just down there. And on the uh, two little backsplash pieces. And remember how bad the top was scratched here? It turned out really nice. I was able to uh, not break the glass while I worked on everything, which was nice. And we did end up re-gluing almost all of the base veneer, pretty much. And uh, all of this veneer coming up here. All the drawers, same, side, same thing on this side. So underneath is all re-glued and intact as well. And we've got the interior cleaned up and dust back there put back together nicely and we got the handles all tightened up on these guys they were falling off before so those are all nice we refinished the inside of this one as well and they're fitting like a glove so um this is a really special piece for me uh, to do and something I really enjoyed. And I spent a lot of time just thinking about um, Wendy looking at this piece and thinking about how it was gonna look. And she knew that it was beautiful and she really wanted it to be given the respect it deserved. And I'm so happy that we could do it here. So in loving memory of Wendy and in honor of her Love and desire for beautiful things. Uh, we refinish this and her daughter can enjoy it and uh, think of her mom and all her wonderful qualities when she sees it in her home. So thanks so much for joining me on this one, guys. Uh, it was a long journey, but a really enjoyable one for me. And I hope it was for you too. If you uh, wanna support the channel, you can uh, click on the Buy Me A Coffee app in the link below. Um, also, just like and subscribe and, and uh, engage with the channel. That is always appreciated as well. So thank you so much, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this. And uh, if you did, check out our other videos, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video and I just wanted to uh, drop in here at the end and let you know some exciting news. I'm just here making some tomato sauce 
from my garden tomatoes. Gonna get to some canning. And I thought I would let you know that our friend Laura Becker has started her YouTube channel and she's got her very first video up. So head over there, it's Laura Becker Glass and give her the support and subscribe to her channel that uh, she deserves. She's a beautiful creator and uh, you've seen her on my channel before and we know a little bit more about her, those of you who've been around. If not, just go check her out. She's a really awesome glass artist and uh, support that video. So I'll keep sauce in here and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.